Hello, N4H and H here with the Yaesu FT3DR. This is a follow-up video to one that I shot a few months ago regarding SMS messaging from the radio to a cell phone. So there were some questions about how do I receive the message back from the cell phone and how do I know that I have received a message back from the cell phone. So I'm going to cover that in this video. So you see my radio set up the way I normally have it. I hike with it for some it's on the air. So I've got 146.52 in the top, and it really will not matter what's up there. The uh, VFOB, this one, needs to be set at 144.390, of course, because that's the APRS uh, frequency for the U.S. And uh, if you're wondering what the flashing A12 is all about, I covered that in a previous video uh, about this radio, but it's called APRS Mute. You can uh, check that out in the in the previous videos. There's a series about this radio. I think this might be video number five in that series. I could be wrong. But okay, so uh, one of the things you're going to want to do, I'm going to just go ahead and show you how, because when you do get a, a text message back, it does it'll alert you by flashing the little LED up here where you see my thumb is. See that? It's blue right now. It'll flash white a couple of times, and the message will appear on the display, but then it'll time out in a few seconds. So I wanna, first thing I wanna do is I wanna show you how to avoid the timeout. So we're gonna long press display, and we're gonna tap the APRS button here, and we wanna look for number five in the menu, see? And then just hit display, and uh, you see where the arrow is? That's what we want it on right now. We want it on message, so I'm gonna tap display again. And we don't want it to time out after four seconds. We wanna to go to this option here, continuous. And then you just simply hit the back button and back again and back again and back again until you're at the main screen. So what that's going to do is now when I do receive a text message back from the cell phone, the uh, LED is going to blink uh, until I acknowledge it to let me know that I have a, uh, a text message. And then I'll show you in a minute how to retrieve it. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and send one. So the way you send a message, this is a refresher from the last video, is you go into the function memory write. Uh, you tap that button. And then m.list, that's message list. And the newest message will be in slot 1. The next two newest will be 2, 3, etc. So these are this is where you can read the message later when you go back in here. Okay, now to send a message, you tap the six white boxes here. And then you tap message edit. And then you want to, you see the six white boxes are here again. This is not intuitive, so pay, pay close attention to this. Tap the six white boxes again, and you're going to do edit CS. That's edit call sign. Now, if you wanted to text another uh, FT3DR, you would put in their call sign because we register our call sign in these radios, and I covered that in the earlier video series as well. So, uh, but in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the keypad, like the old way of sending text, and we're gonna type in S, M, whoops, let me get the S done. And I should show you this too, because I messed up, and you might as well know this too. You, you press the delete button, but then you gotta hit the back arrow if you want to delete the first one. You have to use the arrows to arrow over to what you want to delete. It's not intuitive. It doesn't work like, let's say I put in a, I'll put in some letters here. If I want to delete those, I've got to press the delete button, but if I press the delete button again, nothing happens. I just want to warn you about that. Hit the back arrow, get over the one that you want to delete, then hit the delete button. I know it's got an arrow there. It's not intuitive. Press it again and I can, it wrapped around, I pressed the wrong one. Press it again, and I can delete that one. So what you want to put in is S, and then you want M, then S again, and then GTE. So G, T, E. Now, why SMS GTE? That stands for SMS Gate. And that's actually, that's all the information it's going to need, and it's going to get that message over to a, a gateway 
that will actually send the text from a phone number. Now, we're, we've been asked not to divulge the phone number, so be, be very kind about that. Be mindful because uh, we just don't want random people to start texting that phone number because it's being provided for us as a courtesy. Okay, so now once you, once you get that filled in, hit the back button. And now you can type edit text, hit edit text. Now remember, just so you, we're clear on this, when we got to this screen before, we had to tap these the six white boxes button again to, to be able to edit call sign. And we put in the call sign, in this case, is SMS GTE. When we come back, now we can type edit, hit the edit text button and type our message. Now it's important that you get this part right. You're going to type in the at symbol and the telephone number of who you want to send the text to. So, you know, whoever it may be. So I'm going you hit the number pad here and then you can start typing in the telephone number. If you got to do a double number like 77, then you're going to need to hit the arrow to move over one slot and 7, see, and then 0 and just continue with the number until you get it filled in. I'll just put in some uh some random characters here just to show you. So a couple more. Okay. Then you want to hit the space and then type in, you go back to the ABC button and type in the message T E S T test. And then you'll hit the back button. And then it says message TX message transmit. And that's all you have to do. That'll send the text message. But Pretend I went ahead and tapped the M-TX button. Okay, you see that message there? AM and the arrow and SMS GTE. That came back to my call sign. Uh, it had my call sign in there, but it went away real quick. I'm <laughs> trying to get this on the fly here. Uh, but that was indicating that the gateway did receive this, the text that I wanted to send, and it sent the text out. Okay, there you're, you see the text. I sent several of them, um, and so uh, that's why it's there. you see four of them showing up there. But it's going to have the call sign of whoever sent the text. That's what it would look like on the telephone, on the iPhone or Android or whatever the other person is using. So it'll have the call sign dash seven, which is the indication that I was portable. You, you program that into the uh, radio yourself, and that's what determines the little symbol that you get uh, on the map when somebody looks you up on APRS.FI. I covered that in a previous video. And then it'll just have the body of the text message, and I just sent test. So that's what came into my iPad slash iPhone. Now, I can respond to that, which I'll do, and then I'll show you what comes back to the radio. Okay, the message came in, and... Um, it timed out, but you see, it, it, it came in, it was on the display, what what I sent myself. But it timed out, but I'm still getting the blinking white LED, and that's because we set, the, uh, set it to be continuous. So if I see that blinking white LED, I know that there's a message in store for me. So the way I go look at the message is this. Hit the display to get out of that. Is I press the function memory right and I go into the message list same way that I did to send the message and you see SMS GTE SMS gateway and the one that that is going to be the message that I just received because the newest message is always number one tap the display key and there's your message and it'll it will verify that it came in to you I've just holding the little I'm holding something over the phone number so I don't put my phone number out publicly but you'll see the message says, hello, N4HNHFT3DR. So that's how it works. Uh, and then once I've read the message, the uh, white LED will stop blinking. So I hope that, uh, hope that helps those of you who wanted to be able to do this. Now, why would you ever do this? Well, you might have a spouse or a friend, uh, other loved one that you want to uh, go ahead and send a text to. 
so that you can establish that link. And then um, if something happens and you're in an area where there's no cell phone coverage, they can still send a text and it'll come to your radio. You want to go ahead and send them a text first, though, so you can establish a connection, you know, so they'll have, uh, you know, the, the special phone number for the SMS texting feature in their phone already. So all they have to do is reply. So that's the advantage of doing, doing this. Okay, hey, I want to thank my Patreons for helping me keep the channel going so we can uh, explore stuff like this and uh, operating tips and, and various other things that we get involved in here on N4H and H Radio. And I do appreciate uh, you Patreons for helping uh, keep that going. And, um, and if you're not a Patreon already and would like to become one, uh, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. And if you like the video and subscribe to the channel, that helps as well. And of course, if you click the bell, you'll be notified when I uh, upload a new video. Hey, thanks for watching and 73 from N4HNH.